Ammonites lived in the seas 400 to 65 million years ago. Even though they are not alive anymore, their fossils, which are the parts left behind, are found all over the world. It is easy to spot an ammonite fossil because it is a ribbed spiral formed shell. For this project, you will need a cardstock piece of paper or a thick piece of paper works best, a pencil, a white crayon, and then I'm gonna be using watercolors for this. This is a 16 palette, and I got this for about $5 at Walmart. You could also get one that's smaller, but that bigger one was actually cheaper. To begin, on your piece of paper, use your finger to draw your spiral. You can go back and see what it looked like before, or you can follow along with me. I'm making a big circle and then curving in on my pencil to the middle and make a little curve. If you wanna practice on the other side, maybe you're not happy with your shape or it's not big enough, you can flip it over and fill your space, make a big circle that you curve in for your spiral. Pick which side you want. So looking at them both, I'm gonna go with my second side when I've picked, I'll draw a straight line that connects the two points in my spiral. Now, with my white crayon, I'm gonna go over three times my spiral. That's one, two times left. That's two, one more. Once you've done your three outlines, it's time to draw those spiral radial lines that go around your ammonite. I'm gonna draw the first couple in pencil just so you can see what they look like but this will be even better if you do not use pencil the entire time. If you need to, you can, but you'll see right now, I'm gonna just start going for it. I'm not using pencil the whole time. All right, when I lift my paper up, you should be able to see just faintly those white lines. That's what you should have. Now let's talk about watercolor. If you're not using watercolor, you can use markers or you can use crayons. If you have watercolor, the first thing you do with your brush and with water is wake up the paint. So I'm putting just a dollop of water in every single one of those trays, one of those pans, because the watercolor reacts to the water and that's what makes it work. There's a couple ways you can do this. The first is water on water. So see, I'm using water that I put on my paper directly and now I'm gonna just add little drops of color that will move around and start blending. I would only recommend this technique if you have really thick paper. If you have thin paper, it's gonna make a hole. I'm being very gentle with my brush. I don't want to just stab it into the paint trays because that's what ruins my paint and it ruins my brush. Pretend your paintbrush is a ballerina on her tippy toes. It's also really important to rinse out your brush in between each color you use. Otherwise, the paint will mix in your trays and that will just make a mess. 
The other way you can use your watercolor is by dipping your paintbrush in the water, dipping it into the color that you want, and then beginning to just go around your circle. So you don't have to use that wet on wet technique. That's for if you're not sure how to really blend colors very well because the water blends it for you. But I noticed my center part was getting a little bit too wet, a little bit too drippy. So I moved on to a different technique where I'm just rinsing my brush out in between each color and then applying large sections of a color around and around. And you'll see me continue on. If your paper is getting too wet like me, you can use a clean tissue or towel and carefully blot it so that you take away some of the water. What I love about using watercolor is when I go over the crayon, I can see all of those lines and details that were hidden before. Wait for this to dry. At this point, you can be finished. I really like the way it looks with the extra pieces are going around the outside because you can really see that white outline. Or you can practice your cutting skills and cut out your ammonite. I'm just going around the edge, so it's almost going to be like I'm cutting out a circle. If you cut out your ammonite, the only thing you have to do left is glue it. Use your glue stick and go around the outside. You can put it on a black piece of paper, a colored piece of paper, whatever you want. Rub the back to make sure it really sticks. And voila, your watercolor ammonite. 